must have been some rough days. Yeah, it is protected now. It really is. I mean, who could have done it? A murder? A lawyer, really? Oh, even worse. It's such a... Such, such an innocent person. Such a beautiful person. Beautiful face that Ethan Kessa. We knew he wasn't with us all semester, but we never we knew. We never knew where it really was. We never knew the reason. I mean, if I knew that way, after the improv practice in the closet. <laughs> Next to a pineapple. A pineapple, a bloody pineapple. The words carved into it. Third thought. <laughs> <laughs> the worst part, though. The worst part. part. They, didn't they, they didn't just kill it. No, they didn't. They did something much worse. Uh, what kind of fiend would take away his hand after they kill him? What kind of monster would take those four locks? He was just gone. Like, I mean, not even like a buzz cut. He just shaved. Not a spread. Not a small hair. Fortunately, though, we was on the scene. We were ready to get those suspects. Around the We brought them before you here today to figure out who could have done this for you. And maybe with your help, we can break Ethan Kessa's killer to justice. Let's do it. Suspects, come on! Bring him out! Yeah. Heads down. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I can't even figure out the direction. They're obviously not smart enough to kill someone. All right, oh, here we go. Take the mud shots. Yeah. All right, turn right. All right, take the mud shots. Face it, people. We're gonna go down the line and say your name real quick, just for the record. Just for the record. Taylor. Page. Isaac. Marcel. Jordan. Mason. <laughs> One of these people did the death of the gate. One of these people. And Officer Ben and I, Officer Paul, we're going to guide you through this evening with Vimkov and Moy. And it's up to you. It's up to you to figure it out and to solve the Moya. So pay attention close. But first, we got a couple rules. Number one. We are actually <laughs> representing Concordia University, Nebraska, believe it or not. Uh, and so uh, we will have some improv games here that are not related to the murder, but you can judge the people in them by their scenes. Yeah, you can. Uh, but we ask that all suggestions, as our content will be Christ-like, we ask that your suggestions be held to a Christian standard as well. It's keeping Concordia appropriate. And second of all, uh, as this is a matter of public record, We'd like to encourage you all to take videos on your little cell phones. To uh, to take pictures and videos, post it to what they call it these days. They call it uh, uh, Facebook, YouTube, Chin book, something like that. yeah, something like that, something uh, like that. So you can post it to that. Make us famous. Yeah, we also need evidence for this case. Huh? Exactly. So with that, uh, that's our improv cast for tonight. All right. We're going to be interrogating each one of these suckers. But we need your questions. So first up, we got Taylor. Take a seat. It'll be up to you to ask the questions so we can figure out who did it. We need three questions per person, and they'll give you a reason for why they didn't do it. Try to keep it relevant. Are <laughs> right, you got any questions for Taylor here? Question where she was, what the motives were. Yeah. How do you feel about pineapples? It's a good question. Mm, well, I don't know how my favorite fruit. I mean, they're very, very acidic. Very acidic. I mean, just like hatred. Eat, yeah. Eat too much, though, your mouth pops out or something like yeah. that. Yeah, it just gets all numb and then you're like, uh, uh, Yeah, kind of like another kid. Yeah. Uh huh. Or rough friendships. Any more questions? Ah. Now, uh, 
Her hair seems to be the most striking feature on you, and one of the pieces of evidence is that Ethan, all of his hair was gone. Were you looking to make yourself to have the most fabulous hair around? Oh, no, of course not. I mean, I do have luscious locks, but nothing compared to Ethan's. So you was envious? Oh, I was admiring it. So you admit his hair is better than yours. Oh. And we got another question right there. Where were you on the night of the murder? I was in my dorm room with my roommate watching a movie. All right, what kind of movie? What kind of movie? A fun cartoon movie called Inside Out about emotions, because I'm learning to control them. <laughs> all right, all right. I guess, I guess we'll see what the verdict is made. Back in line. All right, all right, Officer Paul, what's our first little game, little demonstration? Uh, huh, huh. I don't know, but it has to do with some props. The way this game works, oh, we'll use this too. The way this game works is we're going to have three props set out right here. We're just going to set them down on the ground. So what happens is, each of these suspects, or improv members, will come up and will use and state what each of these things is. The thing is, this isn't a mic stand, and this isn't a spool of rope, and this certainly isn't a hanger. It's something else. It's another prop. What it is exactly, that's up for these guys to show. Alright, ready? Let's count it down. Three, two, <laughs> one.
now I'm clearly the way. Cool, we got another suspect in here. Oh, yeah, yeah. We got Jordan coming out here. Oh, man. Now I can go to the police. Thank you. not being cool, so I have to make myself boost in that. So you were envious of even Kessel's coolness, and maybe you hope to steal some yeah. of it from him. Not envious of his shoes. I cannot, can't recall what they are, but he is a very fa fantastic man. Hold on. Hey, you wear that bandana so you can hide your face. As you can see, the bandana, the bandana does not actually hide my face. It's just sitting there around my neck. It's hiding nothing. Hey, you got facial hair. Could be right there, but you see, I just think it looks looks very good. Right, so we got another question. Another question. Another question. Whose man bun was longer? Was it yours or was it Pepper? The man bun thing is all Ethan's. I, I can't take any credit for that. I see. I like to do a little ponytail. This is like this can play with it a little more. It's <laughs> but I can't take credit for the man bun. That's his thing, and I won't take it from him, even if he's dead. All right. All right. You can go back for now. We got another scene here. Another scene. Let's just say, uh... Let's, let's say I go. Everybody take a scene on the edge. Maybe this one will open our eyes at the case. Yeah, we're going to the theater. I need... Gabby and Mason up here. Uh, hey, Jordan, I know it's suspicious, but could we buy your bandana for the blindfold scene? You mind? Yeah. You mind? All right. All right. Oh, wait. <laughs> All right, so blindfolds in the way this works is people have blindfolds. Crazy. All right, uh, so uh, we'll give them a little bit of a. Can you know, someone guide the basin around the area? Uh, <laughs> they will be blindfolded in this entire scene. That's pretty much it. They have a scene, they're blindfolded. They generally look really weird. Alright, so I need a suggestion from the audience. Of, uh, let's go with an object. A waddle. Watermelon? Alright, the next suggestion is watermelon. Wait, wait until we get. Don't want to fall off stage. Yeah. We're getting on the edge. Here's the here. Got one. Here's Paige. Taylor. We're walking right along the edge now. Right along the edge. Got a cell right there. And then we got David there. And there we go. Careful. And we got another little black area. Alright. See a suggestion for blind thing. Watermelon. Alright? And scene in three, two, one. Middle darn tune, this watermelon is gonna win first prize in the county fair for sure! I declare we done good this year, ain't we? Oh, uh, Bessie is a beauty, ain't she? She really uh, is. I think it was the uh, uh, pouring Gatorade on it every day that we really bolted up there. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, and it was my secret recipe handed down from generations. Yep, and they always had that Gatorade. Ready on hand. We uh, right. we let our heads in the county fair now. So Probably. Now we just gotta roll this thing up into the truck. Yep, all on three together here. Okay. Ah. Ready, two, one. Uh, uh, wait, are we rolling or are we lifting? I think we miscommunicated here. <laughs> Why would you ever lift a watermelon? That thing's heavy. Well, how's we gotta roll it? All right, Atlas. One, two, three. <laughs> Shut, all right. <laughs> 
what are you suggesting here exactly? I, I got the watermelon here. How about we, uh, we could like, what? Well, I think that we could just crack her open and some of the juice will flow out and just make a little river. Steve, the whole point of taking it to the fair is so it's the biggest one there. <laughs>
Oh, yeah? Is that what you did to Ethan Kessa? No. Roped him up? No, was, that, was there a rope near the crime? Killed him with a pineapple? There was no rope. That we found. You know too much about this wow. scene. <laughs> Maybe he was there. Yeah. Maybe he was there. Yeah. I don't even make this. So when you started showing up just as uh, Ethan was about to be leaving, um, is it because you killed him because uh, you wanted to make sure he never came back? Um, I'll... Vietnam wasn't far enough away for you? Well, let's see. <laughs> As a freshman, I barely got to know me from Kessar in that time, so I, I don't really know anything about him except for the fact that his name is Kessar. Maybe that's the thing. Maybe that's the problem. You didn't get to know him, so you never knew how awesome he was, so you didn't know not to kill him! <laughs> I'm sure that's how that works. Hey, hey, I'm the detective here. I know these things. Right. I know these things. Alright. Well, we gotta move on to the next game. Yeah. And our next game just so happens to be about layers. Players are deception. So I need everybody up here. All right. So the way this game works is everyone will be playing, and we're going to start with one person. One person is going to come out. They're going to do a one-person scene, and then another person is going to come in, and it's going to be a completely different scene with two people, and then three people. And it keeps going all the way up until everybody is in a scene together. And then it'll start going down. The person that entered last will then leave and will go back to the seven person scene. Then back to the six person scene and all the way back until it's just Isaac again. Alright, so I need a non-geographical location. Wrestling. On the stage. Scene begins in three, two, one. <laughs>
return to your lab stations and we'll get started. Now, as you can see today, we'll be making the smell of pineapple. <laughs> and you should carefully combine your butyric acid and your methyl benzoate in the beaker. <laughs>
typical gym. <laughs> All right, we need some questions. Dick. So, uh, Faye, you're a ginger, right? Yeah. So, I hear a rumor that gingers take souls. Does this include hair? Uh, well, as I would assume, Ethan's, Ethan's soul is, I mean, his hair is a part of his soul, so, um, that, uh, but, uh, so you confess it. No. Look at it. Look at his hair and tell me it's not beautiful. You ever seen it's, something more beautiful than that? Oh, it's so beautiful. I can't, I can't take my eyes off. Yeah, yeah, that's what we thought. Any more questions? <laughs> <laughs> right, defense friends. Okay. Now, uh, you seem a little bit nervous. Is there any reason why you should be acting this nervous? You, you didn't do anything, did you? Oh, no, I didn't do anything at all. I've just been, uh, I've just been uh, playing a game with my, oh, my, yeah. my, good, my fellow ginger, hey, uh, Michael good. Duffy. Well, <laughs> uh, okay. Duffy, well, I happen to know Duffy don't play no games. You don't play no rounds, no games. <laughs> so he isn't playing no games. What's you really up to? We were. Uh, the face. The face. The eyes of honesty, we used to call them. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we got another question. So, in that last scene, I saw you eating someone's house. Do you like to destroy the things that people love? <laughs> oh! Well, it's not my, it's not my profession of choice, but. <laughs> so, it's more of a hobby, you said. Mm -hmm. oh. Usually people I, don't get paid for being murderers. Unless it's a match. I wouldn't. I wouldn't get paid for being a murderer or for being a murderer with yeah. with money, I'd say. No, no money. So you're rewarded in other ways. Oh. I think we've heard enough. Okay. Yeah, right, let's play the next game. Well, we're we're play the next game. It's very difficult with just that. We're going to play interrogation. <laughs> <laughs> so I need Isaac, David, and myself. Alright. Now, I do want to note quick before this game. It's not the same case. Someone else just got murdered. There's a lot of them. <laughs> We're having a lucky in problems. Um, so the way this works is this is a guessing game. So uh, we got our buddies, a fellow policeman here, uh, David and myself. Uh, they will be interrogating Isaac. Isaac has committed a murder. More than most power. So, um, what we need from you is who he murdered, where he murdered, and with what murder weapon. Uh, so first, who did he murder? Yeah, I 
That's why I asked. <laughs> what are you trying to do, poop all over this case? <laughs> <laughs> no, we know you did it. it! We know you did it! You know I did it, yeah, I just got to admit it, don't I? I committed and breathe. We can't let you convict in our heads. <laughs> <laughs> Glass. 
glasses because I need to wear glasses. <laughs> Yeah. That was, just that was like a dumb question. Just like you need the Moya, you wear glasses because you need to, just like you need the Moya, even Kessa. <laughs> <laughs> I can see you very clearly with my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> clear enough to shave his <laughs> I guess. Or clear enough to carve into a pineapple. Third thought. I guess. Anyone could do that. Well, right. <laughs> That's my question. Now, you don't seem to be uh, too affected by uh, Ethan's death. Is that... Is that because you did it? Because uh, <laughs> you, you are you were expecting this outcome? I didn't know Ethan that well, I'm going to be honest. I thought he was a funny improver, but uh, I was only in one scene with him. Yeah. I, uh, I thought he was very good. Did it go well? Oh yeah, it was good. You know, studies show, it's like studies show that people kill people that they get along well with, even if it's just once. <laughs> <laughs> So what you're telling me is people kill people. Yes. Studies. Studies. Yeah. Morris, good question. Hello, I'm uh, Mark Light here from YouTube. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so synonymous and uh, YouTubers for their videos. I hear you're a quite famous one. Uh, tend to use one thing for their humor. Third thought. Explain yourself. <laughs> I got one word for you. Memes. <laughs> so let's see. <laughs> Gonna give it over to my good pal Jordan here. That's the perfect play. It's called Spoon River. Sonny, Ben, Paul, Taylor, and David. Alright, so Spoon River is a game with we have a number of people up here. And they're going to be telling you um, different perspectives of what happened of uh, some freak disaster that occurred. What it is, we don't know. That's for you guys to tell us. And they'll come on to different personas, give us the backstory, what's going on, maybe how it happened, we'll then tell them that. So with that, I need some crazy disaster that could have happened for the Natasha. Right. Natasha are extinct. Someone's oh, there's one there's goat there. left in the world. <laughs> <laughs>
It is not going to be Brian. It's going to be Bob Friedrich, <laughs> the president of Concordia. <laughs> so I go in and uh, I see my brother. He's like, you're not supposed to be here. You're supposed to be in some French prison. I'm like, no, I'm here. <laughs>
goes to me. Minute six. And they're gonna do 
an entire seed in one minute. But after that, they're going to stop and they're going to do the same seed in 30 seconds. Then they're going to do it once again for 15 seconds. And then the same scene in 5 seconds. And then finally, that scene in 1 second. All right. Let's see if they're up to it. Let's get a suggestion of an object. Nope. Right. A relationship. <laughs> Even a dessert. Pineapple. Customer. Carlisle and trainer. Um, doctors. Yes. Oh, pineapple. Doctors. Pineapple. Doctors. Chicken. Hmm? Awesome. Poor guys. A fork and a spoon. <laughs> <laughs> this is your suggestion. Fork and spoon. All right, scene begins in three, two, one. We have to run away. <laughs> I know, but I'm not ready to go yet. This place just means it's such a home to me. I know, Spoon, but well, the time has come. But my favorite foe is in there. We can't leave him behind. We must leave everything behind and start a new life. Away from our dishes. Okay. <laughs> Lead the way. Onward! <laughs> I've never been this far from the table before. <laughs> you get used to it. It's an amazing experience. I feel so free. Like, I don't just have to scoop things anymore. Here we are. The dishwasher. <laughs> You're going to feel so new after this experience. Okay, we must open it. Massive doors. Okay.
looking all innocent up here. Too. Hey, there's some people that haven't asked some questions yet. Yeah. I want to see you guys asking. Yeah. We've got to figure this out together. Move your head. <laughs> Dave. So, uh, you're the tallest girl in this group. Here. <laughs> That's right. Does that give you an advantage when cutting hair? <laughs> yeah, you even taller than me. <laughs> That's not very hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Were you a bully then too? No, I'm just kidding. The air's clearer up here. I think better, so I'm not thinking stupid thoughts like, I'm gonna kill the legend Ethan Kessar. Mm -hmm. Hey, those ladies at that table. I haven't seen any of you guys helping now. Yeah. We gotta bring the killer's justice here. Come on. You think we're smart enough to figure it out? We are definitely not smart enough. <laughs> Studies have shown it. <laughs> Okay. Alright, Mom. Okay. <laughs> 
can have one more final vote. And remember, you can't abstain. You gotta vote. You gotta deliver justice. One of these people obviously deserves the electric chair. <laughs> so I'm here to decide which one. Or either that or a lifetime supply of sugar-free gun dicks. Reach reviews on Amazon. I think we know which one's worse. <laughs> Ha, <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. 